evening all. Gotta be Wednesday. Eight o'clock. It's a bit like a program I grew up to. It's Friday, it's five o'clock. And if anybody's as old as me, they know what the rest of the line is. Hope you're all alright, hope you have a good week. No sidekick today. Ah, I've had one of those weeks. I don't know if anybody's ever had a migraine before, but um, I got I got hit with a migraine for the last four days. Couldn't drive or anything. So, busy one-man show tonight. Hopefully get um, Ian back on again. And trying to get Ian and Dave DK up. Ian is a uh, gospel aerial photography and Dave is DWK. Going to try and get three of us. Three for the price of one. Instead of just listening to me rabbit and all all the time. But yeah, hope you had a good week. Good, good show tonight again. Um, first one up is TS13 FPV. Uh, this is an edited one. Uh, it's it's just a minute long. <sighs> I wish I could do something. I'd like to try it. But not with my drone. <laughs> so if anybody would like to build me a drone and let me have a go at it. I would have a go at it as long as I had 25 spotters. But yeah, have a look at this. See what you think of it. See if you can keep up with it because I, I struggle to keep up with it. I can't keep up with it. I wonder do they do like a storyboard and say, right, we're going to suss the place out, right? We go through their loops and what they can do after they went through a window or through the ceiling. <laughs> Imagine that, going through a ceiling. Whereas when we put the drones up, we think, yep, we're going to do them this way, that way, spirals, top downs. <laughs> but they, they must do a lot more work, so they do. Unless they are really, really good and they can just put the drone up and far away uh, he's if you like this sort of stuff he's um he's got other stuff on there he's brilliant but i think he does a lot of it for competitions but um i can imagine him with the speed and well apart from that bump at the end there was another bit where he was coming down and he just it just it was just it tickled the ground and it just flew off again so it did but yeah ts13 oh, really really good but i do want to go with that I want a new, not Avatar, Tony. Ah, I forgot the name of it again. <laughs> Ian, where are you when I need you? Avatar. I want an Avatar. Uh, brilliant. So, like, share. Definitely. Uh, the next one coming up is, I'll probably pronounce this wrong, Jekra Style. This is, this is an um, DJI FPV. But uh, this is something different, so it is. Look at the scenery. Not just where the drone's flying. Look at the scenery around. Really, really cool. But yeah, check this out. See what you think of it. This is definitely a different type of FPV flying, this is. But um, have a look. See what you think of it. <laughs> Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. 
let it burn But my time is rising Me at the end, I'd want to fly through that heart with the Mini 3 or the Mavic 3. <laughs> Mavic 3, all sensors off, really slow, but speed it up and edit. But you see the mountains in the background? I don't know what those four, the, the water things, I suppose they're like water pumps just keeping the circulation of the water because they probably have large carp in there. Just put a hook off the drone and catch it. But oh, that was brilliant flying, so it was. But the scenery, I'd like to do that with the the Mavic 3 as well. Because I know he did it with the FPV, but that would be interesting to see on a normal drone. I suppose if you put that in front of somebody, they they couldn't tell the difference if you told them it was an FPV or a Mavic 3. Non-drone people wouldn't know. But yeah, he's got some of the cool stuff on there as well. And again... Another one new to the channel. But yeah, uh, check him out. Sub, like, share. Can have a look at the rest of it. It's amazing, so it's really, really brilliant. Um, coming up next, we got Mavic Air Flyer UK. Minus six. <laughs> Minus six. I thought we got away from that weather. But, uh, this, this is um, brilliant. If you like cinematic stuff, you're going to love this. Not FPV, <laughs> it's um, cinematics, really good footage, so it is. and uh, the flight is brilliant, but uh, I'll be quiet and you can have a look, see what you think of it.
close was he to that blade? That's got guts to do that. <laughs> yes, I went under a few arches recently and a few bridges, but <laughs> not near a blade that just might get caught by the wind. But it was brilliant. Do you know the bits that I liked about that was uh, the one on the road where he's driving, uh, flying over the road and it's gone really slowly, perfect so it is. And it's that you've got the contrast, you've got a frozen lake and you've got the green with the frost on the right. But you've got that red car driving up the middle. If it had been a black car, wouldn't have noticed, but a, a white car or a red, that red car, it was brilliant. The way it just, oh, it's really cool, really cinematic. And the, uh, the other bit I liked was when he was flying towards the windmills and parts of it, when he was quite a bit back, you could see the full windmill, but you could see the shadows of the other windmills. And when they were going around, it was as if they were waving at the drone. But that's a cool flight. It was really smooth, so it was. A brilliant edit. I like the edit on that. Um, you probably sussed out the music. It isn't what it should be. Um, long story short, I, I have to change the music because when I don't get any copyrights, we get loads of views. So that means more people get to see your videos. When I get copyright, the views, we don't, because YouTube, or they just won't push it, so they won't. So it, it just is because of the way I record it and copy it. I think they think I'm copying somebody else's music. But um, oh, that was stunning. You, you need to go and check them out. See all the stuff. Hey, brilliant. Oh, minus six. And I thought it was only one goes out minus six, minus seven. But yeah, well done, Mavic Air Flyer. That was brilliant. Oh, he used a uh, Mavic Air 2S, so he does. But uh, go in the description, he's got good information in there as well. Puts the effort into it. Um, next one is another new um, person to to our little Wednesday night show. It's um, Sean Diamond. Oh, Sean was in the in the chat last week. It was brilliant, so it was. And he he, he sent me a message. Oh, Tony, could you share this? This is really spooky. Last Saturday, I was with Ian. Oh, no, he's not there. <laughs> I was in Ian's area, Gosport, and we, we tried to do, well, I tried to do a little live stream on YouTube where these big warships, the Royal Navy warships are. And um, the wind was blowing a gale and we were on the Millennium Bridge. And Ian said, oh, this is in my video. So if you go and check out um, Ian's other videos, uh, gospel aerial you'll see he's got footage of it but Sh sean he's got footage of it no wind like what we had but yeah sh this is brilliant it's um it's called four ton lake me i just called a big tunnel with all the wind but yeah oh sean's got some other brilliant stuff on there but uh, have a look at this one see what you think of this i love all of this Was I like the thumbs up uh, just as it comes to the end. It says a minute and 23 seconds. Oh, it is everything. The spinning guitar, the bridge, boats, water. And if you look near the end of it, it's got the museum, so it has. 
but if you just pause it where the thumb comes up to say sub like if you pause it and you just look to the right hand corner you can see the the big guns the big guns that are normally on the big warships but yeah um ian walked me past that um museum the other day oh i want to go in there but that footage was it's so smooth so it was and it, i get oh my music choice rubbish you you need to listen to the music oh, it's very not eerie but it's very oh, it's brilliant it's the the music fits brilliant it you you need to go and listen to the, the actual music that um sean's put on it but his flight, his editing as well. But I do like that bit where the, the big blue thumb comes up and saying, like, that, that's really cool. But the flight, that definitely wasn't last weekend when I was at, with Ian. That wind was, as we would say in Ireland, blowing a hoolie. <laughs> it was rough. But that flight, it was a really good flight. Um, I want to go down there again where that area is, where that Millennium Bridge is. Because I, I, do they like the Millennium Bridge up? Um, Sean or Ian, let us know in the chat. Do they light the bridge up like they light the spinning guitar up? That's another thing. If, if, if that's the sort of area you want to go to, if you go down towards the spinning guitar, if you've got a Mavic 3 and you want to test out your night video, if you go down there, um, you can take off beside it, well, across from it, so you can where the ferry is. But they light it up. They do light displays between, I think it's 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock every evening. And for special occasions, they do all sorts of different lights. But uh, welcome to the, to the club, Sean. Oh, that was brilliant. Really cool. You need to sub to Sean, check him out, like and share. And as, as Sean said last week in the, in the live chat, sub, share. Tell people in the chat that you've subbed to their channel because it, it, it's a little boost, so it is. If you're thinking, oh, people, people don't mind my channel. They don't mind watching the videos that we've shared. You just... Give them a thumbs up, let them know you've you've subbed to their channel. Makes it worthwhile so it does. Um we've got a regular coming up now. This paste drone paste drone stuff is brilliant. Oh he's got loads of subscribers as well. But I'm not surprised with the, 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 the footage that he has. This one I'm sharing tonight is Newcastle and Gateshead. It's the Cory side, but it's a laser show. And it's New Year's Eve, so we've had all the, the fireworks, we've had the Winter Wonderlands, th this is the show. And as it says on the box, flashing lights. <laughs> so be aware, there is flashing lights. You know, watch this three times, and on the third time, I realised the lights are shining straight at me. So I thought, mm, just be careful, there is flashing lights in this, they say. But uh, have a look at this, this is brilliant. Totally flashing lights. Oh, it's brilliant. I like I liked every colour in that. It, it made it look very spacey looking, so it did. Like something you see in a uh, sci-fi movie. But it, you don't have to do much flying there. But uh, the, the reflections on the river and everything, he's captured all of that. And it's so steady. It's like, I wonder, well, it probably has. They've probably set those lasers to music. But, um... Again, the music on this is better than the music I've put on it. Wow, oh, piece drone stuff stuff. You, you need to go and check it out. Have a look at it. It was one minute long, but it was, it was really good, so it is. Oh, you're just mesmerised, but... Uh, uh, yeah. It's just so clear, so it is. Uh, yep, another place I want to go to. But yeah, 
share sub like everything let pastro know that you become one of his subs really good um up now is uk drone journeys this is the sort of stuff i like it issues three different drones on this but if you go to the description you'll see them it's got um rs2 the new um DJI Mavic um, Classic, or the Mavic 3 Classic, and the Mini Mini 3 Pro. You'll see why he's used all three drones when you watch the footage. But yeah, have a look at this, see what you think of it. <laughs> this is the second one tonight. How close did he get to the, the that uh, thing? I don't know if it was lights or what it was, but it was a pole. But it looked like a Christmas light on. She just go right beside it. I know the drone makes it look as if it's closer than it is, but I was close. I love all of that. You, you can see why he's used three different drones. But uh, what, what I what I want to do is I would do some me next time. Keep that footage. Go back on a night time, because that building, the the signs above the shop, was doing along, going along it, and the car coming along. That's them signs are all lit up. But can you imagine footage like that? This is not a criticism. This is me. This is me. I, I want. I want to see this. 
where the drone will be coming along the exact same height, exact same um, speed, the exact same buildings. But as you come in, it's going from that daytime footage you got into the nighttime footage because the signs are lit up in the day. T I reckon that must have been late evening because you can see the lights on the tops of the building pretty well. But um, brilliant. And, and the, the, the very first scene with the drone going away. But it's so smooth, so it was. But um, top downs, spirals, it and everything sort of. I don't know if everybody else likes stuff like that, but uh, I'm besotted by it all. But uh, yeah, UK drone journeys, oh, his stuff is brilliant. Go and check his other stuff out. Give him a shout out. Let him know you've subbed to him. But yeah, hopefully the next time he sends another video, it'll be the nighttime version. Ah, oh, that's really cool. When I first watched this video, it's Mark B. Mark B. Uh, I shared a video a couple of weeks ago. I uh, thought help him out again. So it's Mark B. So he is, and this is the sunset. Uh, this is the sunset. Oh, sunrise before the storm. And I'm sitting looking at that before I read that, and I'm thinking, red sky at night, shepherds the light. Red sky in the morning, shepherds one. And I thought, I wonder do they use that same saying in the rest of the world? Well, apparently, they don't. <laughs> Mark uses a different one. He goes, Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. That was brilliant. That was pretty really cool. So it is on the same freight. I mean, shut up, Tony. Stop rabbiting. Have a look at this. It's not very long, but it's so peaceful, so it is. Peaceful as that. If you, you, you look at that sky that Mark's captured, and as he said, before the storm, and you, you look at that, you're thinking, oh, it's beautiful, so it is. Uh, yes, no, don't have to do much flying, but he's captured everything in there. I, I like the bit at the start where as it's coming up, because I like the long shadows that we can catch with the drones, but also the silhouettes and the silhouettes of those trees. That look brilliant. That would look uh, one of them painters and artists. He could. Take a photo of that and paint that. He'd love that. That sky. It just it just looks so angry, so it does. But um, yeah, help Mark out. Sub to him. Oh, watch his stuff. Really good. New to this, but if this is what he can get, just be new. Oh, imagine what he's going to get in a few months' time. But yeah, well done, Mark. That's brilliant, so it is. And we got now Doctor One Rex Rex. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. It's three minutes and fifty-eight seconds long, and you can't you, you can't cut any of this. This this is a show reel, and this is busy. Everything that he's done over the year, he's got a list of all the drones he's used on the right hand side. Um, Apple Mac, the stuff that he used for the editing. It's brilliant. Oh, all the diff Shut up, Tony. Ah, watch this and see what you think of this. Oh. This is cinematic, this is everything.
epic from start to finish that that first scene going through that mountain you see that, you, you would see it in any movie it reminded me i think spectre the james bond movie i'm not sure if it was spectre or not but it was one of the james bond movies daniel craig where they have a scene like that wow oh, that's brilliant everything so it does yeah there's, there's also there's, there's, there was like a mountain in the background and it looked like it was a big hole in it do you think it was hit by a meteor or something but um oh, the motorbikes everything i like the part where when they were walking just walking and they were walking through like there was an archway just behind them and as they were coming around you could just see the glint of the sun just shining through and it just lit up oh it's someone that puts work into their art because that's definitely art so it is but yeah this is this is how to do a show reel I still haven't got round to doing mine. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get the time, but oh, this must have taken forever. But yeah, 3 minutes 58 seconds. The footage is brilliant, so smooth. The editing on it, um, his music is so much better than mine. You, you need to go, even just to listen to the music on it. But um, that's how to put a show really together. I'm so jealous. Well, not jealous, I'm impressed. But. I'd be even more impressed if I could do something like that. I'd have to get Ian to do it for me in Gosford Aerials. But yeah, check him out. Sub, like, share. Oh, fantastic. Really, really good. Oh, we got another new one. This is Enrico Albano. I think it's from Nap Nepal. But um, yeah, this is another sun uh, sunsetter. It's Mavic 3, shot of Mavic 3, it's not a very long video, but just just look what he captures, this, this is brilliant, have a look, see what you think of it. Because yeah, I reckon that was very industrial, just where the the, the water age was, because all the lights are done now. But that sky at the background and the mountains as well. Again, me me silhouettes with the mountains. But yeah, two minutes and twenty five seconds. 
don't need to do much flying just capture stuff like that and his music again going on to just don't listen to his music on it it's, it the music makes the video not the music i put on but at the minute i don't have a choice but yeah and we go that was brilliant i really enjoyed that as i said you didn't have to do much flying but it's so smooth the bit that you did and that that sky wow definitely a picture that would be hanging on a wall now this is really spooky but it just proves that people are either listening to our ipads or watching what we watch so because the weather's been rubbish i thought i would update my reservoir Hit our video that I got in Wales because after being with Ian last week, I was inspired to try different things. Thanks, Ian, I appreciate that. But yeah, this is Sean, Sean Williams, and he, his was pushed at me, so it was not I'm thinking, hang on a bit, that's nearly the same as my, what I did. But yeah, Sean's done a reservoir as well. But I'm not going to tell you anymore, I'll talk after. I'll have a look at this, this is brilliant. Well done, Sean. That last bit where near the end where he's just zooming away, drone going back or back right way in front of him, and you actually see how vast that area is. Uh, he, he's standing, I don't think you could stand in the middle of that right now at the moment because of all the rain we've had in the UK. I'm sure that water is back to some sort of level. I know the one I was at, there was no way I was standing in the middle of it because it's still at a lot of water. Wow, oh, that was brilliant. And there's another. Oh, the, the, the vehicle's going to cross the top of it. 
I would have liked a top down, but that's me. Of going across, just going along, just, just sort of slowly, and the car is going across the top of it. Because on one of the top downs, I nearly looked over to see where I could see the reflection of the drone. Because where's the drone? Because it was busy top down, and that water was so clear, and you could see the sky reflecting on it. But yeah, that was a really good flight, so it was. But I like the oh, that pullback, and it just shows you the size of that place. Because it's probably, that just shows you how bad our drought was in the summer with all that water gone. But brilliant, really good. Check um, Sean's other stuff out. He's got some other amazing stuff. But um, somebody else who enjoys his, uh, shows passion with his videos and that. But yeah, Sean Williams, definitely go and check him out. Sub, like, share, all of that. Oh, I'm still looking for the drone down in the reflection. Um, coming up now is Lori, dronographer. I've had uh, one of his, couple of his on before. This, this is brilliant because he's now got his new av avatar. Did you hear that, Ian? Avatar, not Avatar Tony. But this, this is a promotion that he's done for Warner Leisure. So it is. Oh, this, this. Oh, you, you need to watch this. I want to fly like this, and it's maybe I definitely want one of these avatars.
Oh, it's paused. Oh, that's that sunset and that last clip. Oh, it's just picturesque. Oh, not a bad. Oh, what that thing can do. It's like the first scene where he's flying up along the road and you can just see this the sun as it comes past all the, tr the with the trees and the shadows and that. And then when it goes up, I don't know if you call that a castle or not, but the way it went up round it, and you could see the sun sort of glinting through the stained glass windows. God, imagine if they were coloured stained glass windows. That would look really good. Well, it still looked really good, so it is. But yeah, that's how to fly in Avada. I definitely want one of them. That was brilliant control. But, um, and parts of that, you couldn't tell if it was the Mavic 3 or the Avada. Because the picture quality oh, is, is edited in second to none. Oh, the whole, oh, I'm still up into that sunset. What what a picture, what a way to end the video. But yeah, that's a promotion I'd used for um, Warner Leisure. That's how you do it. Go and check his other stuff out. he got uh, tons and tons of stuff on there. He'll give you ideas. If you're not sure how to do something, just watch his videos. Put a little message on the comments saying, oh, how did you do this? What did you use? Uh, and, uh, I know he'll give you some tips and information. But... Oh, it's sun, sun, sunset. It's beautiful. Talking about sunsets, we're coming up to the last one. As I just said, last one. This is Bath and West drones. This is a, this is really good because when I watched this and, and I seen that it said a night at the circus, and I thought hmm, somebody's gonna fly around big top circus when it's lit up at night time because i have but i'm, I'm watching it then as and i'm not going to tell you anymore because it's not very long and you need to watch it and then you'll understand what i'm going to tell you in a minute When it's doing the top down, it looks like a roulette wheel, so it does. You're just waiting for the ball. To, you need a white car to drive around it really fast. Any volunteers? Oh, that, yeah, that was brilliant. As I said earlier on, I was loving that. I said, I need at the circus. And then when I started to watch it, I thinking, hang on a minute. I've been there. And then, as, as everybody that knows me keeps saying, yeah, Tony, where have you not been? But I've been here. I've been here with Dave, DWK. And we went during, uh, it was Sunday morning, we went. But I never even thought of getting footage like that. But the daytime footage wouldn't look as good as what that this nighttime footage. It was so smooth. The way he's going up, and the car going up the middle, and he's just following the car. It's as if that car. So oh, wait here. I'll drive up, and you can follow me up. But, um, the colours on that, and and the outskirts where it's all not fully black, but you, yes, you have a spring, sprinkling of lights. But it's so smooth, he's going up, and then the, near the very end of it, it's so high up, and it. It's minute, so it is, but it was brilliant. But yeah, I've been there in the daytime with Dave. Pigeon Alley, so it is. <laughs> Pigeon Alley and Seagull Alley. But um, if you check his other stuff out, you'll probably see footage of this in the daytime. If not, go and check out DWK. He's got it. Oh, I've got it as well. But that nighttime footage, oh, so smooth. Just get up there. That orange light. It doesn't say what drone he used. I'd like to know what drone he used. Because the, the colours, we think we always think of white, yellow, stand out really well. But that orange, the way it was like, the way it, oh, that 
flight. Is it as I said, it's a short video, but it speaks a lot. It, it's as I said, it looked like a roulette wheel. Wow, oh, I love that. Yeah, Bath and West drones. Go and check his other stuff out. Oh, it's as good as that, so it is brilliant. Even some of it's even better, so it is. But yeah, check them out. Oop. Another night gone. I think, oh, I don't know how long it took me. But I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you take part in the chat. Let people know you've subbed to their channels and give them comments. No negative stuff. We only do positive on here. We're here to just share stuff, help people out. But I, I love watching all that. <laughs> it's brilliant. The best of it is, I did all of this last night. And I deleted the whole lot because I, I didn't like it. I'd been suffering from a migraine, as I said earlier, and and I just didn't like it. So I did this in a different room and I just didn't feel comfortable. So I come up to my normal room to do it. And I think, yep, yeah, peace, quiet. I can look out the window and see that I don't think I'll be flying today. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. Thank you for letting me share this stuff. Thanks for taking part in the chat. Uh, as I always say, if you've got any videos you want to share, any new stuff, just drop them in the comments of this video. When this video goes where it lets you put the comments on it, uh, don't put it in the live chat because the live chat seems to disappear. Well, you can watch the live chat again, but you have to scroll through it to see what people are saying. But um, if you know anybody else that is into drones and they want to, sort of boost their YouTube or get other people to subscribe to it. Put their links in. Let them know that oh somebody does stuff to try and share everybody else's channels and videos. But I thought I was going to try and get three of us here, here and here next week. And then I remembered I'm working. So it'll oh sorry, it'll just be me next week. But then the next week after if I can do it. So, Dave's up for it, DWK, Ian, Gosford, um, Ariel, he's up for it, so you'd have three of us. Be two for the price of one, but I might go to that side and just let them do the show and see how good they are. Well, I know they're good, but yeah, anyway, bye for now, have a good evening, until next time.